Hello and welcome to the Modern Masters here on ESPN Cricket and for our feature today is a very interesting cricketer who just quietly sneaked up on the cricketing world and he forced the cricketing world to look at him and say you know you know I, I'm here and now people are forced to actually make comparisons with him and Gary Sobers you know one of the all-time great cricketers Rahul Jacques Callis that's what he's done to all of us I think for the longest time uh, you know we've been sort of spoiled with the quality of batsmanship of people like, you know, Tendulkar, Lara and Ponting who've played in the same era as Callis. And so in some ways he's had to earn uh, this this right of approval by sheer weight of runs, sheer consistency of performance and, and building up a, a record that is, you know, second to none is probably going to surpass a, a lot of these greats. Uh, it's a phenomenal career and a phenomenal cricketer because just the runs that he scored, which is in itself on its own steam exceptional and then you add the wickets to that you add the catches to that the one day cricket to that uh, it's a phenomenal career yeah, it's going to be a very interesting episode uh, because Jacques Callis is an interesting character in the way how the greatness has uh, not been obvious to start with but now I think uh, most of us acknowledge him as a true great cricketer let's get uh, you know as we do often uh, in these kind of episodes technique of Jacques Callis. It's a typical sort of South African batting technique, a lot of bowling machines sort of practice coming through the ranks. Uh, a little bit of an initial movement, uh, the, the two steps sort of movement which uh, become quite popular in South Africa. It's quite unique in some ways to, to South Africa. Uh, something that uh, you know Duncan Fletcher was a, a big fan of. You saw him propagate that even with, with Michael Vaughan uh, in mm -hmm. Australia, who uh, sorry in England, who he used to do that a little bit. Uh, but the important thing to note is even though he makes that initial shuffle or that initial movement of his, after that he's in a really good balanced position to be able to go fully back and to go you know uh, sort of forward as well whenever the wherever the ball is pitched. Um, and uh, you know you add that add, add that to uh, you know an exceptional ability to judge balls outside off stump. I think he's got great patience, especially when he comes in early on in his innings. You know. One of the things about Callis is that you have to bowl to him because if you're anything outside the off stump or you know he's, he has that ability to judge line exceptionally well and leave it really. Yeah because leaving has become almost like an extinct you know art of batting. A lot of uh, batsmen you know playing T20, 50 overs cricket don't look to leave ball but this guy has kept that as one of his great strengths. Uh, very decisive, you'll never see him caught on the crease, right? Either he's on the front foot or he's right back. Yeah, that's a sign of a, a very good batsman, that ability to get forward and get back. Uh, judge length very well, um, and does that really well. Not a really high flourish of the back lift. Um, you know, that's why sometimes when you watch him aesthetically, mm -hmm. you, you sometimes, you know, you sort of, you'll obviously watch a Lara or a Ponting and you look at them because of that high back lift, high flourish. Uh, but Jacques Callis is very effective, extremely consistent, uh, you know, great, uh, good player of all kinds of bowling and I think mm -hmm. exceptionally a very good player of spin bowling. Is it? Yeah, I, I think, you know, his record in India is, is, is fantastic and whenever I've seen, even on turning tracks. Uh, so, what, you know, what really was the kind of technique he employed on, say, the typical Indian turning pitch? Uh, I, one of the things he did, uh, you know, really well was he went back. Uh, mm. He went back uh, and and was able to maneuver balls on the leg side, especially against Harbhajan Singh. Uh, as soon as he pitched in the rough, he, he went right back and, and 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 played a lot of spin bowling of the back foot. Uh, so he would know what's coming at him in the air. So he would be able to. Pick I, what's yeah, I coming. picked. I I never thought he had a problem picking uh, any of our spinners. Mm. Uh, some really good numbers in, in India. Could play the big shots as well if required. Didn't use his feet very much, uh, but uh, exceptionally good at punishing the bad ball as well. If you if you if you did bowl one. And patience as well, willing to grind his way out of difficult situations in India. Come into bat in India, you know, two wickets down, ball is turning, bouncing. Secure in his defence mm. that, you know, I can play out the difficult period and cash in when I get a little bit more comfortable at the crease. He's a big boy, he looks a very strong uh, man, but uh, doesn't quite pack a punch uh, in his shots. You know, you won't look at Jacques Callis and see that he's a powerful striker of the ball. Is that because he's sort of uh, restricted that power? Uh, game by the way he winds up, locks his wrist, or thing. What, what do you add maybe to this? A, a smaller back lift uh, okay. has meant that maybe he's has sacrificed a little bit of you know raw power for effectiveness because uh, you know he's extremely compact uh, and, and because he has a shorter back lift the chances of things going wrong is, mm. is less mm. and uh, you know he's worked on those principles extremely difficult uh, player to get out as we see in his average uh, in his numbers extremely consistent uh, and uh, you know, more often than not, scores runs. And light bat, heavy bat, what did he uh, prefer? Medium, uh, normal bat, about 2-8, 2-9 uh, mm. uh, kind of bat, 2-3 uh, grips on it 
an interesting thing that he would do uh, was on the top of his bat, he had small pieces of rubber cut in to make it feel like a baseball, uh, mm. the, the baseball club. As he said, uh, when he picked up a baseball club, he felt very comfortable with, uh, with you know, with that, that sort of a ring, ring uh, touching his, mm. his sort of left hand. And, and he sort of copied that. You see a lot of the South Africans, you see A.B. de Villiers do that now. Mm. So it's, uh, it's one of his sort of trademark uh, calicisms, if you call it. <laughs>